Hello friends, welcome to YouTube channel Electronics for You. In this video, I will talk about piezoelectric transducer. Following points will be covered in my lecture. These are construction, working principle and working of a piezoelectric transducer. Then there will be some examples of piezoelectric material. Later on, I will cover applications, advantages and disadvantages of piezoelectric transducer. So let's move to the topic. Now, piezoelectric transducer, the word piezo itself came from a Greek word piezen, which means squeeze or press. A piezoelectric transducer is a device that uses piezoelectric effect. Okay, so piezoelectric transducer uses piezoelectric effect. I will explain it later on. It is used to measure the changes in acceleration, pressure, strain, temperature or a force by converting this energy into electrical signal. So overall we can say that piezoelectric transducer can be used for the measurement of acceleration, pressure, strain, temperature or force and it converts them into electrical signal. Actually it is an active transducer and it generates this electrical signal by itself. So piezoelectric materials are used for the piezoelectric principle. So piezoelectric materials are one kind of transducer. When we, when we squeeze this piezoelectric material or apply any force or pressure, it converts them into electrical voltage. This voltage is a function of force or pressure applied to it. Actually, let's see the construction. A piezoelectric material, a piezoelectric transducer consists of a quartz crystal. We can say that it is silicon dioxide in crystalline form. So this is the piezoelectric material. When we apply some force over there, it pro produces output voltage. So unit cell of all crystal is symmetrical, but the piezoelectric quartz crystal, it is not. Okay, so this is a piezoelectric cord crystal. Here, here uh, we can have different types of piezoelectric shapes over there, just like this. Basically, this piezoelectric crystal is electrically neutral. So, no uh, force is applied over the piezoelectric crystal. It is electrically neutral. But when some force is applied, then it produces electrical signal as its output and this piezoelectric crystal can be of a different shapes and different size just shown here now let's see the working and working principle of a piezoelectric transducer so piezoelectric transducer is based on the principle of piezoelectric effect now see what is the piezoelectric effect so under no stress condition it will not produce any charge means its output voltage will be equal to zero so if we compress it in this case what will happen the charges will be produced across the quartz crystal just like this here is positive charge and on this side the negative charge is there okay now exactly opposite force is applied that is strains if we apply tensile strain then the direction of this will change. Now look at this. Here it was positive charge previously when compressive stress is applied. Now if tensile strain stress is applied here, the positive is converted into negative and negative is converted to positive. It means that the charges is induced in the another direction. The rate of charge produced will be proportional to the rate of change of mechanical stress applied to it. It means that if we increase the speed of mechanical stress, then, then the charge produced will be proportional to it. Similarly, higher stress will produce higher voltage. It means that the output voltage is directly proportional to the pressure applied over it. So this can be used for the working of the transducer. So here it is the example. Now 
this is a crystalline material or crystal and if we apply some compressive stress in this case the direction of emf will be in one direction similarly if we apply tensile stress then output will be in another direction so in this way we will get output voltage as our main change and actually actually this is itself used for the measurement of pressure because because this voltage is directly proportional to force or pressure applied to it and therefore we can use we can convert this voltage scale as a force scale or a pressure scale for the measurement of pressure or force so in this way a piezoelectric transducer is used for the measurement of force pressure acceleration etc there are some examples of piezoelectric material we have seen previously it is crystalline form of silico uh, silicon dioxide then barium titanate lead zirconate titanate and last one is rochely salt these are the different piezoelectric materials let's see some advantages of piezoelectric transducer it do not require any external power supply for its operation that is it is an active transducer so this is the first advantage then it is e easy to handle also it is small in size then it has high frequency response it means that it is very very fast for its operation then there are some disadvantages of piezoelectric transducer it is not suitable for the measurement in static condition there must be some movement so static condition for static operation it is not used it is affected by temperature overall the operation of a strain gauge uh, overall the operation of piezoelectric transducer is affected by the temperature similarly the output is low for uh, so for some external circuit is attached to it means amplification will be required as output is low then it is very difficult to give the desired shape to the material and also desired strength so this is the material and you cannot uh, have any shape for this material for example if you want to have a cubic structure there then again it is not possible in case of piezoelectric material now let's see the application generally it is used in microphones especially microphones of mobile phones and cameras then it is used in seat belts for the identification of person so that the deployment of the seat belt uh, of the airbags will be there then it is used in electrical lighters used in kitchens or simply the gas lighters they are used for studying high speed okay they are used for high uh, for the for study of shock waves and blast waves used in infertility treatment as well as in jet printers it is also used in medical diagnostics so these are the applications of piezoelectric transducer and friends if you like this video please subscribe our channel and press the bell icon for notification and like comment and share thank you